Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel ESP Daniela of where I talk about everything related to education, professional development, whatever it may be. As you already know from the title of this video, I will be discussing the five reasons why your college application essay sucks, unfortunately, but we're going to fix that. So before I get started, I want to give you guys a brief introduction about me. So my real name is Carlin and for years I have helped students get into their dream schools and not only that, graduate debt free through scholarships and other forms of financial aid. So my YouTube channel originally started off with just giving scholarship advice and over the years students have been able to win millions and millions of dollars, not just here in the US, but also abroad as well, many of which even got full rides. So with that being said, I also offer a service specific specifically for essay editing and a lot of students have used that for college applications or scholarship applications which tend to be even more competitive than trying to get into a school because it's a lot harder to convince someone as to why they should give you free money as opposed to trying to get into a college for you to pay them money just to attend. So with that being said here is the very first mistake that I see so many students make not only with their college application essays but also scholarship essays and that is that they try to hard to sound smart. Take this statistic for example, I believe it's 40 to 50 percent of Americans within the United States read at below or at a sixth grade reading level. So basically like the middle school range. So with that in mind, if your writing is trying too hard to sound smart using like higher vocabulary words and sentence structures and all these other forms of constructing your writing, then perhaps you probably already lost the attention span of your reader. So the next mistake I see students making is that their writing is very unbalanced with certain aspects of what needs to be covered with the prompt. So as an example of this, I recently edited a college application essay from a student and with her essay, it was like 80, 85% based around like her trauma, but then only 10 to 15% of her essay was properly addressing the prompt and talking about why she's wanting to pursue that specific career field and that specific major. So after giving her constructive criticism and editing her essay, she was able to get admitted into the college that she wanted. With that being said, I have a free outline that you can use and download on how to construct your scholarship essays, college admissions essays, whatever it may be. And this template has helped so many students not only get into college, but more importantly, graduate debt free from college. Okay, so on to the next mistake. Now this one covers how a lot of times when I am reading these essays, there is no humanized element to it. It's just straight facts regarding like their academic background, their achievements, awards, and all that of course you want to mention these things within your scholarship essay college admissions essay but that should not be the entirety of it because at that point it's not memorable a lot of people have all these high achievements and whatnot but if you can't offer a way of where the reader can connect to you on a human to human level then your essay and overall application will not have as much of a chance to stand out so many times i have read essays for college and scholarships of where it literally just reads like a resume and that's the last thing that you want because so many of these scholarships will require in addition to your resume so what's the point of basically reiterating word for word what's already communicated there another common mistake many students make is that they are not completely answering the prompt so let's say that a prompt is like please talk about your academic achievements awards honors and etc because in the case of this particular prompt it is saying and not or which is totally different on that note when you are trying to answer the subject for that essay whether it's a scholarship or college admissions try to think from the perspective of those competing against you so as an example of this i'm currently in grad school and i was able to win this ten thousand dollar scholarship funded by nbc and before i even went about writing my essay i first thought from the perspective of my competition like how would they be more than likely to answer this particular prompt so once i had about two to three guesses on how they would approach their writing i made sure to not only incorporate that within mine but also in addition to that something else so that it stood out more now i also want to cover whether or not you should incorporate in your writing your trauma see there is a common misconception that the only way to get into college or to win scholarships 
is to trauma dump within your writing and that is not always the case i will say that with the very first scholarship i won i did that but i was not comfortable telling people that story over and over again especially the people who don't even know me so i had to totally transform my writing and go about it of where i wasn't talking about very sensitive subjects relating to my background so just know that it is not mandatory for you to talk about your trauma however you can consider incorporating it into your essay if it relates to why you are trying to study a particular major. So as an example of that student I mentioned earlier who after editing her essay and she got into her dream college, her essay was majority about her trauma and just a little bit about what she wanted to study. So after editing her essay, I made sure that it was more balanced and honestly, it more so encompassed as to why she wanted to study that and also why she is needed in that specific industry. With that in mind, here is a bonus tip on how to write an effective college admissions scholarship essay for you. When you find yourself coming across a prompt that says like, why do you deserve this scholarship or why should we admit you into our institution, our college, you should consider implementing into your essay what is oftentimes used in marketing, which is scarcity and urgency. So as an example of this, let's say that you are trying to get into a certain career path of where there are not many people represented already who look like you, whether you are like a woman, a person of color, etc. So if you can provide some up-to-date relevant data from like a research article or a news article stating and giving like basically that this is a fact that there are less people who look like you who are like you in the industry and as to why it is needed more, then you're going to drastically increase your chances of getting it. And to prove that this can work tying back to what i said earlier with editing essays i had two students who i edited essays for nurse corps and it was worth ten thousand dollars for nursing students and we added some scarcity we added some urgency into that as to why they were needed within that particular field and then they were able to win that scholarship now finally to end off this video one of the main mistakes i see students making is that they are not asking for constructive criticism regarding their writing whether that's college admissions or scholarship essays because there are certain things in your writing that you simply will not be able to identify on your own as to why it is not working for you now of course you can consider using one of my services for application reviewing and essay editing but if you don't want to go with that route another thing you can consider doing is to look up the past essays for people who got into that particular college that you're wanting to go to whether that's looking online from blogs or youtube channels whatever it may be there are so many people People out there who will provide you with that information for free. Anywho, that's all for today's video. As I stated earlier, I am a scholarship expert primarily. So if you are interested in emulating my techniques to winning 30 scholarships, six figures total for undergrad and graduate school, debt free for two degrees, then I highly recommend that you look into getting my book or my online course, which has my book and all my services, personalized services bundled in. And you can use this promo code here to get 25% off of it. Thank you. That's it. Bye.